Do you ever wonder why sometimes our significant other, the person we're courting, the person we're dating, however you want to define it, just has this magical ability to say something that triggers you, that just kind of reaches in, creates this disturbance, and up comes this anger, up comes this frustration, up comes perhaps maybe this fear, this sadness, and why is it that people in which we're vulnerable to have this ability to do sometimes? Let's face it, it happens to all of us. It happens to all of us into this type of situation. I always say there's these two facets of our lives that if we really want to bring stuff to the surface, uh, one of them would be pursuing your purpose. That's a good one for that. And then relationship, getting into relationship with somebody else. And then this stuff begins to come to the surface. And we have to ask the question, why? And, you know, and it's unfortunate because we've all kind of been like, oh my gosh, we don't want to feel that stuff. We don't want to feel, you know, we want to be in Shangri-La relationshipville, right? Where, oh my gosh, this is so wonderful. Life is beautiful. The sun shines 24-7. No, it doesn't. It won't. Everything runs in cycles. The very essence of life itself, the very nature of energy is one of cycles, of peaks, of valleys, of these dramatic mountains and these low, just moments of lowness that come, perhaps maybe vulnerability, perhaps maybe fear show up as a result. Relationship has that magical ability so what do we do? How do we handle that when those circumstances arise? How do we meet those um, opportunities? Because that's really what they are. But because we have so many been programmed through perceptions, through what we experienced through our parents' relationship growing up, if there was one, you know, it's like, and those become the foundational pieces of our beliefs. And those beliefs and those perceptions become what generates the resonance within ourself, which of course creates our circumstances. But those opportunities that arise in relationship, oh my gosh, rather than curse them, fight them, run like hell from them, embrace them. Utilize them for what they're really there for. You know, there's this process right now that's taking place on the planet in a very powerful way whether you want to participate or not, it's happening. And that is bringing to the surface what is no longer serving us. Bringing to the surface what is preventing us from creating or connecting into our divine essence. The truth of who and what we are. And relationship is an excellent avenue of opportunity to bring this to a whole nother level. Of being able to move through what's no longer serving you. What you can't take with you. What we are emerging into. So when those moments happen, rather than fight them, rather than withdraw, rather than, you know, go into quiet or whatever, or, or not experience those feelings, we have to dive into them. We have to make a decision in that moment. You know what? I'm diving into this. Within this trigger, within this opportunity, within this that's emerging is a tremendous opportunity to shift my life for both of us yes but yourself since you're the one experiencing them to let go of something that's not serving you to let go of an old weight that you've been dragging behind you it's like i just had this vision of like people walking through life with all these like chains attached to them with like dumbbells attached to the end and, and we drag ourselves through life and we wonder why sometimes it's hard to go through life well, that stuff's heavy, and we want to be able to release that. And relationship provides the opportunity. The person you're in relationship with is providing an opportunity for you to free yourself. That is a whole different way to looking at it. And let's face it, when you're in the midst of it, it's hard to see that perspective. But I want to challenge you to view this from a higher spiritual perspective, a higher evolutional perspective, where... Uh, you know that you're on a path to revealing this divine masterpiece that's within you. 
and that what's being triggered and what's arising in your relationship is providing an opportunity for you to heal what needs to be healed. Now, whether you go do that collectively together in group therapy or whatever it might be, or you choose to work upon yourself and work upon those issues, there's an opportunity there. We've been so embedded in the cosmic game of hide and seek where we have so much forgotten who we really are. And sometimes we need to have our foundation shaken in order to bring to our attention what isn't the truth of who we are, what's not right, what's not true, what's not in alignment with our divine essence, with our true and our power. And so these things emerge in our relationship. Let's face it, relationship, whether it's a significant other, with family, Nobody has the ability to ter- stir stuff up like a person you're in relationship with. It could be even a business relationship. But that relationship opens up these areas of vulnerability. But they're areas of opportunity. They're areas of expansion. They're areas of growth. So perhaps maybe just take a look at where perhaps you're being triggered in relationship right now. how you might be able to leverage that. opportunity this opportunity to grow this opportunity to unveil opportunity to remember who you really are. Remember who you are is magical. Who you are is unlimited in your power. Who you are is on a journey to remembering and experiencing who you truly are. You're so much more than what you're experiencing right now than who you see in the mirror. And relationship and those triggering moments in relationship are providing an opportunity to chip away the pieces, to reveal another piece of this beautiful masterpiece that's already within you. It's just about excavating it and and realizing it's already there. So just sending you all kinds of great vibrations on your journey as you navigate the nuances of your relationships in your life, whether it be with yourself, whether it be with a significant other, uh, family, uh, people you work with, uh, friends, children, whoever, whatever it might be. They're all blessings, and they're all going to bring to surface this magical, beautiful opportunity to heal your life, awaken, and unlock your unlimited ability to manifest the life of your dreams. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Have a harmonious day.